Hey folks, um, just as always, you need to wait a few seconds for people to join in. Um, Instagram has a lag, you know, between when you can tune in and when others join. Um, and people are trooping in now. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining. This is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. Always bring you the best gist when it comes to moving abroad. Um, my apologies for starting this late. I'm not really feeling too well. If you can see from my face, you would see that I'm not I'm not feeling too well at the moment. But this this information, I think it's really, really important that we share this. Um, and so I'd like to come and share um, this, you know, this idea to help people move abroad as teachers. OK, you can move abroad as a teacher without any experience. OK, so if you're looking for job opportunities that are not working out, you can still go abroad as a teacher um, and you don't need any experience at all. You do not need any experience at all. So initially I had planned, you know, to just talk about one country. And now I've got two other speakers who moved to, you know, different countries as well as teachers. And they want to come and share their experience as well. And so like I always do, I don't bring, you know, I don't bring individuals um, I don't I don't talk about these things myself. I share I allow individuals who've done it to come share their experience so that you can listen and you know take advantage of it. Um and so I need you to pay attention, I need to follow, you know, step by step and listen, and then you will get the opportunity to ask questions as well. Okay, let me bring my guest straight away. Let me invite my first guest. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. I can see your comments. Um, I'll get get well. I'll I'll do rest. I'll do rest as much as I can. Um, hello. We're seeing your ring light. Show us your face. I'm sorry. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank Good you. morning from here. Thank you very much for um, you know, um, taking out time and and um. I think I, I I was so happy the day you left the comment. You you're gonna tell people how you how you how we how we met and you know I, I I was so pleased um to hear that you know you moved abroad as a teacher yeah. and you know all these things worked for you. Um, permit me to quickly add you know uh, we've got two other people who moved as teachers as well. So permit me to also add them up to this conversation. Um before we start the introduction and you know um yeah so i've 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 invited the second person uh and i'm just gonna invite the third guy now let's let's hope they join in let's hope they join in um so um do you want to start with with an introduction start with an introduction tell us um you want to tell us your name where you are okay this is our second guest how are you sir thank you very much for joining us hello good evening i am very mm -hmm. fine are you i'm okay i'm okay thank you very much for doing this with me it was it was very very yes you know unprepared we didn't prepare this but somehow you volunteered to come and chat with us, so yeah, thank you very much. It was I'm going to start with the intro, intro, introductions. I'm going to allow the lady go, go first. Tell us your name, where you are, what you're doing where you are, and how you got there. Okay, so my name is Peace. I am a teacher living and working in Japan. So I got to Japan um, through the after your after I watched your video on how to migrate to Japan as an English teacher. So I followed the link and um, I came here in April. So I started um, June last year and um, I came here in April. So the experience has been good. It has been wonderful. So yeah, that's amazing, a little about me. Amazing. You don't know how, how excited I am that <laughs> you've got it using my <laughs> link. I'm very happy, I'm very happy. All right, thank you very much for that introduction. Brother, thank you so much. Do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us where you are and how you got the job as well. Okay, um, so my name is Mine, Ogene Mine, actually. 
Um, I am currently in the UK. I came in two weeks ago on the 1st of September. Um, I came in through the QTS pathway that opened this year. So um, somehow I got wind of the information about um, QTS way before it was announced. So I got myself ready. I got everything I needed ready. Um, on the 1st of February, I put in my application for QTS. And um, on the 27th of April, I was awarded QTS, after which I started searching for jobs immediately. Um, it was a very tough process. Well, you know, I put in the, I put in the work and um, somewhere early in July, I was able to get to school. They sent me, I, my, uh, they sent my COS and here I am today. I resumed. I've wow. done two weeks wow. already. <laughs> Look, I, I mean, I can't see your smile. I can see the way you're smiling. Like this, these two weeks must have been very fantastic for you. Yes. We're going to dive into the process and you, you will share the process of how you did it step by step so that people can benefit from it. Okay. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to start with, of course, ladies first. I'm going to ask. So, can you explain to us how did you get to Japan? Maybe share with us first. What was what, what has your experience been at the moment in Japan, and how did you get to Japan? And this is the same question I'm going to ask you as well. So let's start with Japan, and then we'll move to the UK. Okay. So, um, like I said before, the journey started after I watched your video. So I followed the link. I applied, and I got an interview. I got to be interviewed or I was interviewed in June last year. And in October, I got the offer and I started my you know, location process. So um, I'll talk about the requirements needed because I didn't really need to do so, so much. All I had to do or all they required was for me to be a graduate, have my degree. And then um, I, this um, TEFL, that's Teaching English as a Foreign Language, is a course, it's an online course. And I did it for free, and I got the certificates, which I used in applying. So it's a very simple process. It's not really, I didn't need to pay anything. I didn't need to, you know, it wasn't so stressful. So after I applied, I when you get the job, you will be sent a certificate of eligibility. It's just like a COS, but here we call it certificate of eligibility. It will be shipped from um, Japan to Nigeria. And that is the do document you use to apply for your visa. So when I got the document, I started, I applied for visa and the visa took about five days. I got my visa within five days. And um, the visa fee was about 10,700 Naira. What? So it was, oh. yeah, so it was very affordable. But um, the embassy is in um, Abuja. So I had to travel to Abuja because I didn't stay there. So I paid 10,700 and I got my visa within five days. So after I got my visa, um, my company gave me um, an arrival date. And when the time came, I traveled. So I didn't have to pay anything. So during, my, um, during the recruitment process, they will ask for proof of funds. But that is, they will ask you to have a certain amount of money that will be able to like because they won't pay for your flights you have to pay for your flights and accommodation for like two months so you should have that amount in your account so they will ask for your balance anyways they're not really asking for six months proof of funds or one year just your account balance so the money they would require for you to have it's dependent on the company the company you're working with so i can't really state a, a particular amount but how once you have that how much did you have in your in your as your bank balance okay for me at that time okay what was required was about three thousand dollars okay yeah so um honestly that's, that's then I didn't what that's that's not bad at all three thousand yeah it's not, not bad, bad yes but um when people ask me those that don't have the money, when I tell them, they're like, how do I do it? I usually tell people that you can actually get loans and put in your account. They're not asking, they don't want to know um, how you got the money six months, just your balance. That is what you would send to them alongside some other documents, which are um, police reports, your passports, what else? Um, police report, passports, your passports, photographs. 
and this account balance. So to document it and also transcript. They will also ask for a transcript from your school. So you, so I had to reach out to my school for them to send it to the company. But I think it depends on the company. Others would require you to send your own copy of the of the transcripts. But that was just all I I, I, I sent. Um, yeah. I've seen a question from someone who, who didn't hear you correctly, and I don't want to be the one to say it so that they will not say it's Waka Waka Doctor that is saying it again. Do you remember the website you used to get that TEFL certificate for free? Do you remember the name? Yes, um, Teacher Records. Yes. Teacher Records. Teacher Record. Amazing. So, you see, teachers, they, they, they don't forget something. So, <laughs> teacherrecord.com. Yes. Um, so, you can yes. go to teacherrecord.com. I think it takes about 120 hours, yeah? Yes. And it's for free. That's all you need. That's all you yeah, need. Yeah, that's all you need that's with you your need. Um, degree certificate. Fantastic. I'm going to come back to you to talk about the websites that you applied for jobs, okay? I'm going okay. to come back to you. But let's hear from my brother who's also in the UK. Talk to us. Tell us about your, you know, how is how has the UK been? You've been in the UK for two weeks now yeah. as a teacher. How's the experience been? Talk to us about that and tell us the process involved in you actually, you know, getting the job, applying and coming to the UK. Okay, um, the experience has been fantastic. Um, there is this general notion out there about children in the UK being um, not properly behaved and all of that. Um, for the past two weeks, I would say maybe it's my school. Um, we have a very strong policy policy in place to help with management okay um there's something we call the like the c1 c2 and c3 so if you have a child in class and um, misbehaving you first issue them a c1 okay that's more like i'm warning you right you have to stop okay um if they carry on you issue a c2 right and, and if it continues um you issue a c3 after issuing a c3 there's team sos you just call for help um, and a senior member of staff will come in and take the child out, out of the class. So that's, um, I had to take two children out of, out of the class yesterday, you know, you know, that was on, my only concern. Even though while I was in Nigeria, I worked in schools that I would say are similar to what we have here. So I kind of had the experience somehow before, before coming here. But the fact that the school has a policy in place to help manage the children has made it really um, easy for me to settle in. Um, talking about how I got the job, like I mentioned previously, I got wind of QTS. Some people mentioned, some, some people were asking what QTS is. QTS yeah. is qualified teacher status. Qualified, right? qualified teacher status. Yes, qualified teacher status. So um, in the UK, that's what you need to teach with okay in nigeria they will say okay you ha have to do education besides doing education in your first degree or your master's degree you need to have the qts qualified teacher status to be able to teach so um how did all of this start um mid last year i was thinking of using the study pathway to travel right i knew of qts because i'm a teacher so i somehow contacted the Department for Education in the UK. You can call these people, you, you can send them mails, they would respond. Um, I contacted them and um, I booked for a call. Someone called me back. I told them that I was looking at coming to the UK to study, to do a PGCE with QTS in September. We got talking and I, along the line, the person who spoke to me said, hold on there, are you a qualified teacher in your country? I said, yes, I'm a qualified teacher in my country. That was last year, August, early August. He said, hold on, that the government is actually working on a legislation, right? Um, that they're looking at bringing in qualified teachers from outside the UK to come and work in the UK. That's how I got the information. He, he told me to watch the news closely, subscribe to the newsletter on the websites, and just follow the news. So that's what I did. So even before it was announced in, I think, late November or in December, I already got the information. So I put all my documents in place, my transcripts, um, I wrote IELTS, I did everything I needed to do. So when they opened the portal on the 1st of February, I quickly put in my application. 
um, you're supposed to also get a letter of professional, professional standing from the teaching body here in Nigeria. I did all of that in the first week. Um, so I believe the fact that I did my stuff very early gave me an edge because while people were still trying to run around to get their documents ready, I'd already put in my application and um, like I said previously on the 27th of April, I was um, awarded QTS. That's what I now used in searching for jobs. So they will give you links. Um, there is a teacher vacancy section on the government's website. The UK government website is a teacher vacancy section on the website. I registered there. I got alerts um, for jobs. I'm a teacher of French, by the way. Um, I, so I used the website, used the filter, got jobs, um, and I started applying. That was the difficult part. Initially, I felt that getting QTS would be the difficult thing, right? Because um, I felt they had a serious um, teacher shortage, but I didn't know that the job search would be more, a whole lot more difficult because um, the fact that they have a teacher shortage doesn't mean that they would go for anybody. You still have to prove after getting QTS that you are what's um, the job, that you really know how to do the job. They don't need your CV. You have to download application forms. You have to fill application forms. The first application form I filled, I spent way over two hours. Um, you would have to write a letter, um, like on two sides of an A4 paper, right? Applying for the job, you know, and it has to be in line with the person's specification. It's a very tedious process, you know. I tried and tried and tried over. Um, a month, for about a month, I kept getting feedback from schools. Um, they would tell me that, oh, we like your application. Oh, but we got someone um, who is more qualified. My experience was more in primary school and they needed some people for secondary school. So I kept getting feedback like, oh, I wish you had secondary experience, you know, and all of that. I was already thinking of, okay, if I don't get a job by September in Nigeria, I'll move to a secondary school so I can get secondary experience you know, before I saw these vacancies, same on that same website, the government website, they said they needed a teacher for a uh, teacher of French for key stage three. Key stage three is year seven to nine. That's like JSS one to three. So I was like, okay, fine. This is not very far away from my experience. So they would not tell me that I do not have GCSE experience. So let me put in my application. I put in my application and I was watching the site closely you know for the deadline when it gets to the deadline they would um shortly candidate you know and they will contact them so i kept watching and watching one day the following day i didn't hear anything and i saw they took off the vacancy and i saw that they put it on back again and i was like wow they didn't at least me you know i was feeling bad and i just refreshed my meal and saw that they had contacted me that I have been shortlisted for um, the interview. Would I be available? What day would I be available the following week? I told them that I was available on Monday. You know, I didn't sleep that weekend. I was trying to get myself ready, you know, and I attended the interview. Here I am today. Wow. I did not pay, I, I didn't pay a dime to anybody. You know, I, I didn't pay a dime to anybody. I already saw, it was this week, I saw on the British Council page, I think it was on LinkedIn. Um, they said that um, fraudsters are already trying to extort money from people for this teacher pathway, and some gullible people would want to go and pay. I didn't give a dime, one naira to anybody. I did everything on my own. Yes, I had to put in the work. Like I said, um, the job search wasn't easy at all, but I prevailed. I, I, I would like you to reiterate something because I've seen a few comments here saying that is the QTS only for science teachers? You you are not you are not a science teacher, are you? No, I am not a science teacher. Now anybody can actually get QTS. So long as you are a teacher, anybody can get QTS. But the thing is that for this particular pathway, um, they have shortage in certain subjects. So that's their priority for now. Right? They have shortage um for secondary teachers uh, of maths, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, right? Then language which is French, except English, French, Spanish, German, and any other international language. So if you have um, a degree in any of these areas, 
then um, you're good to go. All right, amazing. And thank you very, very much. And I can see that the UK is treating you nicely. Um, I'm going to come back to Japan. Um, a question that a lot of people want to know is this. And guys, if you're interested in reaching out to them, um, they're going to tell you how to reach out to them if you need assistance. Um, I know that we, we had this chat before about whether or not you need experience, you must be a teacher or not. And I know that you shared that it's not compulsory for you to be a teacher. So do you want to share and talk to everybody and say it's not compulsory or whether or not it's, it's compulsory? Okay, so um, yes, most of my colleagues don't really have experience. But when I checked, I found out that they are not from Nigeria. So the Nigerians here, we have at least one year experience. And the NYSC, if you taught during your NYSC, it could suffice for that. So you just need to let let them know and convince them that you you've taught before and so, it's, so not really, it's, yeah. it's all about it's all about convincing them that you have the experience and i think your cv is going to do that that job so if you've if you've had any opportunity to teach anybody um it doesn't have to be in a big recognized school so long as you, you've had that opportunity to teach anybody just put it on your cv I think that would go ahead. And she's clearly said um, that she has colleagues who work in her, um, in her school as well who have no teaching experience. Um, I'm going to ask you again, what websites did you apply for in Japan? You know, when, when, when you, you, you said you got the um, test of English as a foreign language for free using the teacherrecord.com and then you applied for jobs. So what websites did you apply for jobs? Where did you apply for the jobs? And Okay, so there are so and, many websites. And also people are asking, do you need Japanese language? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll start with the website. So there are so many companies that recruit. So you can, um, anyone can apply directly to companies. But there is a website like Gaijin Ports. Gaijin Ports is just like Indeed. So they send you alerts or notify you if whenever there's a vacancy. And you can go to companies like Interact, Interact website. Let me, um, let me, try, and, let me try and type them, Gaijin, Gaijin Pot. Gaijin Pot is one. Um, Interact, just like interaction, yeah? Yes, yes. Interact. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, yeah, um, Border Link. And um, Border Link. Hard corporations. Border there are link. so many, but yeah. Okay. Um, and for guys, don't worry. I'm going to put all these links in the description box of this video, so you don't need to worry about anything. But interact, um, guy gym pot, um, and as well as uh, Border Link. So those are some of the websites that you used to apply for jobs. And did you need? Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. You want to say? Yeah. Something? So. Uh, um, I saw a question earlier, someone asking if, um, what major, like what major do they need? So I would say that they don't really need um, you to study. You don't need to study English because I studied French and I'm teaching English. Yeah, so um, the, you, you can study anything as long as you are willing to teach English and as long as you can speak English, then you're qualified for the job. Or for a job. Wow. Wow. So, so just so long as you can teach English, that's it. They don't need you to study English. They don't need you. Wow. That's, that's and, amazing. Sorry. And you don't also need to, you don't need to um, speak Japanese. You don't need to know how to speak Japanese for you to get the job. They will just train you on the basic Japanese, know how to greet, how to, just the basics. That's what um, the company will teach you when you get the job or you can learn on your own but it's not a requirement it's not a major requirement not a major requirement wow that's amazing so um i'm going to come to uk now and say how long did it take you for you to get your visa how long did it take you less than two weeks less than, less two, than weeks. two weeks yes i used the priority option because when i put in my application um i know that normally the UK visa takes about two to three weeks. I did the math in my head and I said, okay, I didn't want to take chances because I had a date I was meant to resume. I meant to resume on the 4th of September. So I didn't want to take chances. I used the priority option. 
and I got it in about five, six days. Yes. Wow, five, six days. Okay. I'm gonna ask both of you a personal question now, okay? If if you if you wanna answer, feel free to, but if you don't, I'll I'll respect it. What's the salary like in Japan and the UK? Okay. Okay, so um I'm just gonna give a range. So it's from a thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars. It depends on the company and yeah the offer so from one thousand five hundred dollars to three thousand dollars yes wow. yes that's a lot of money for teachers coming from my country <laughs> because yeah teachers teachers in nigeria earn maybe you earn like hundred dollars or less yeah. yeah so if you're earning if you're earning a thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars that's a lot of money and what about you what do you want to give us a range yeah i would say it's fantastic um i have i know a couple of people that have come in from ghana as well and from speaking with them it's not the same it's different and it's based on probably years of experience you know and all of that but for me it's over 40 per annum wow over forty thousand per annum that's amazing that's that's yeah that's amazing that's like about two two thousand five hundred pounds thereabouts that that's amazing it's more it's more yeah it's about yeah i'm just saying i just said, yeah i just said yeah. about it's it's, it's definitely mm. more mm. that that is amazing that that is amazing um that is amazing two thousand five hundred pounds that's amazing of course if uh, yeah it's a fantastic one thank you very much guys i need to ask you again I don't know your situation it's also a personal question or if you know this is it possible to move with family do you know do you know if it's possible to move with family using this route for me yes yeah is of it possible course. to move with family of course yes yes okay what about for, okay yes um the one of the spouse or the person that got the job would have to come first and then apply for coa for his or her partner so the partner can join after about six months okay so that that's not bad you just wait for like six yeah. months and your partner will join you i need to ask you again what you've been in japan for six months seven months now five months five months what, what what's the standard of living like in japan i've visited japan before um visited tokyo 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 has all this you know it, it's like lagos hustle and bustle you know um but i know there are other other um other counties or other localities or communities that are not as expensive what has your experience been you know in the in in japan is it expensive living in japan um it's not expensive living in japan i mean except when you live in a city like tokyo you know tokyo is expensive but other cities are quite affordable the standard of living is affordable food is quite cheap transport the transport system is good it's quite um affordable so for the rent the rent is between 270 dollars wow. to 400 dollars it's the rent is the rent. what really yeah well, it's affordable that's very affordable yes and and my brother is your rent the same thing that range yeah it's um an average of a thousand two per month an average of a thousand two per month is yeah. it for a studio or a two bed or a two or bed a two bed that's that's another amazing one um i need to ask you guys people who want to reach out to you you know for you to help them um how can they reach you i've i've, I've put your instagram handle here um charlie d is in japan charlie d on instagram is s h a double l y d double e 25 okay s h a double l y d double e 25 and our french brother in in um in in, in the uk his name is monsieur min air so monsieur is m-o-n s-i-e-u-r underscore min air which is m-e-a-n-i-r i take that again monsieur m-o-n-s-i-e-u-r underscore min air M E A N I R. I think you can reach them on Instagram that way. Or guys, is there any other way they can reach out to you? Or Instagram is good. 
Instagram is good. Instagram is good. Yeah, Instagram is good. Is good. But I also have a YouTube um, channel where I post videos on how to move to Japan. So anyone that wants more information can watch the videos. I also put the links to different companies and the teacher record websites. The link to that website is also there. So, what's what's the name of the YouTube to, channel? Um, peace, Ekeleme. Just peace. Peace. Peace, like peace, and E K E L E M E. That's yes. On YouTube, yeah. Yes, yes. And you have videos explaining all the links and all that. Peace, Ekeleme, on YouTube. If you're interested in moving to Japan, um, look, thank you very much, guys. I know, I mean, my brother, you just volunteered. You were in the comment section today, and you just volunteered and said you're going to come and share. And peace. I know we've been talking for a while. I mean, I'm very happy that one of my videos helped you do this and you're also giving back. Is there any word of, you know, encouragement you want to give to people who, because this is an opportunity for a lot of people who, you know, want to get jobs, they can't get jobs, you know, teaching might be their way out. I don't know if you have any word of encouragement you want to share with you or any, any other information you want to pass across. Okay, so for me, the word of encouragement I will give teachers that are willing to move abroad is to take a step and not get discouraged because sometimes you might get lots of rejections. And um, yeah, it's it's actually a good experience teaching outside Nigeria. It's wonderful. And it's such, I mean, every teacher should have that experience, I believe. And um, yeah, that's all. And another thing, information is key. So try to get information because I tell people I'm in Japan. I'm like, and they're like, oh, I can't live there. Oh, the food, oh, the language. But it's not like that here. I mean, I'm, it's very peaceful. So try to, to get more information about a particular place before you, you know, draw a conclusion. Yeah. And my brother, any words? Um, I would pick up from what she spoke about. Um, it is possible you can um, actually get a job, right? You just need to put in the work. Basically, nothing is impossible. You just need to put in the work and um, try as much as possible not to fall prey to people who want to extort money from you. You know, it's very important. Put in the work and you will get the job. It's, it's simple. It's simple. It's as simple. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. So, guys, um, you can apply for this if you're a teacher early childhood educator you teach french you teach mathematics you teach anything you can apply for it if you also do not have a teaching experience you can apply for japan japan you know as opportunities for people without teaching experience the uk not so much um and you've heard from peace that the first step she had to take was to take the test of English as a foreign language um, and she did that for free using teacherrecord.com okay and after that she said she applied to jobs on Borderlink, she applied to jobs on Interact, she applied to jobs on Gaijin, Hot and it took her a very short time to get all of this. Um, I will put all the links that are necessary in the description box of this video, so you don't need to worry about that. And my brother as well um, teaches French in the UK. He applied for the QTS um, and he applied for jobs on the gov.uk website. And you've heard from both of them. It's not a walk in the park. You don't just apply for one, fold hands and say, oh, that's it. You have to put in the work. It is not impossible. And that's what I always say. It is the possibility I am after. I'm not after, oh, it's not possible. You cannot do it. It is just the possibility that one person can actually apply and get it. That I'm happy with that. So if, if, if you want to take that opportunity, you want to take that stand and apply for this job opportunity, then do it. Okay. Um, you might just be one of those that will come back and say, you watch this video and now you are now in Japan or you watch this video and you're now in the UK teaching, okay? You can reach out to Peace, who is in Japan, um, two ways. Either you watch her videos on YouTube, Peace Ekeleme. You can watch her videos on YouTube. She's got fantastic videos with all the job links you can apply for. You can also send her a DM on Instagram, um, Charlie D 25 Charlie D is S-H-A 
double l y d double e 25 and you can reach out to my brother as well who's in the uk his instagram handle is monsieur m-o-n-s-i-e-u-r underscore min air m-e-a-n I are. They are willing to help. They are willing to help. And so long as we do this together, everybody can achieve their goals. So thank you very much, guys, for coming. I appreciate your thank time. You. I do not take it for granted at all. Thank you so much. All the best, everyone. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. sir. Bye. Bye.